Adam Pac-Man Jones assaulted a police officer, cursed at a police officer, threatened a police officer. Adam Pac-Man Jones was thrown out of a casino in Cincinnati, and he has had other transgressions in his life. A long list of them, sadly. He's with the Cincinnati Bengals still. My question, what the hell is wrong with Adam Pac-Man Jones? He says he has an anger management problem. It better not have been substance abuse, because if it was, he would be suspended immediately on that basis. Pew, out. He knows it, which is why he's saying, oh, I was sober. But if any report comes back that he wasn't, he's in trouble. Pac-Man has to look within himself and say, what is it about me that I feel like I have to act like I'm so persecuted that I go off on other people whenever the mood suits me? And that's exactly what Pac-Man does because in it, my statement takes into account the fact that Pac-Man would say, you don't know the other side of the story. You're right, Pac-Man, but as an African-American man, I believe I know what you're going to say, and at least in a kind of a roundabout, conceptual way regarding how you were discriminated against or treated inappropriately, and I get that. But if you want justice, you cannot attack those who are in positions to help you. You cannot attack security guards or the police. You've got to ask for help. If the security guard is giving you a problem, call the police. You have to change your mindset, Pac-Man Jones, and others out there who might think like Pac-Man Jones. I'll give you an example of what I'm talking about. It was at a Cal game, Cal Berkeley game, big game, years ago. I'm going every year. And at the big game, people have a tendency to find their friends and sit next to their friends, right? Common. So I found my friends, and they were there, but even my friends weren't exactly in their seats. In fact, their seats were just uh, two beats away down the aisle, right? This guy, White says, hey, that's my seat. He can't even find the number to locate his seat. He goes, this is my seat. Let me see your ticket. This is my seat. And before I get a word out edgewise, he started calling for the police. So guess what? I called for the police. And I said, hey, he's in my seat. He's in the wrong seat. He's in the wrong place. And the guy was sh sh flabbergasted and stopped. Something else. This guy did not have the right ticket himself. He was looking for his number. He couldn't find it. But he was just agitated to stand next to a black guy at the Cal Stanford Big Game. You should have seen this guy's reaction. And this place was packed. It was shoulder to shoulder. So there was no reason for it, right? I sure as heck didn't want, didn't want to be next to that guy. I'll tell you what. Didn't at all. But my point is that I had no problem turning the tables on him and calling for law enforcement's help. I got it, and he left, the that guy left before law enforcement could show up, but guess what? I won. And I won because I turned it back to his face, and I made him deal with it. And that's what you got to do, Pac-Man Jones. You have to let the system work for you.